Good morning, everyone. Hold on. It's too loud. Good morning. So, if you didn't know yet, Chet gave me a camera. And I kind of like just doing time lapses, but I suppose I better introduce what I'm doing today. We are going to start floating. First day of the year, going to be putting p &K on some bean stubble. What the heck? Well, seems as though the inside of my exhaust just puked out part of its guts and it landed down there. Well, let's hope the rest of the day goes better and everything stays together. Well, that's one field down 12 acres. The spread sense that we put on in a previous video is working great. Might be tough to see. Maybe can't see it at all. Anyways, I got an iPad mounted in here and we got alarms that will go off when we clog a row, if we clog a row. Also, shout out to the OSHA approved non-slip tape that they put on things because I just spread the whole field and realized I left my cell phone down on that step. And it's right where I left it, due to the OSHA approved tape. Thank you, government. How's your day going? Oh, man, I'm feeling it. Yeah, I like bean harvest because you got the dew to burn off so you don't have to keep going so aggressive in the morning. But we got, what, two trucks going on the road hauling from what we combined last night. Air spreading fertilizer. One guy's checking fields to see where our next route is. And we're, playing with a bolt bin. Where does it go? And we don't need to wonder what we need to do. That's what I like too about harvest is uh, there's plenty of stuff to do. There's always something to do. It's just, you know what I can choose. And right when, now I can't find the bin bolt. Where's, where, maybe we should just lay it here. That's what I do when I can't find a spot. Oh, mercy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get grandpa's tractor hooked up to the plow so he can get going. Get the big 70 fired up, let's get her out of here. Joking you about that. you know where the heat hauser went? Because winter's coming, we'll need that put back on. I don't think the rats got into that. Okay. Hang on here, let's get this opened up for the big smoke and then... They don't want to know how many hours we worked on this pony motor, but we got her. We got her going. Carb job, new starter. What else did we do? There was a lot. Rewired, new ignition switch with one wire burnt off down there, so... Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was something. There oh, was look some at here, some leftover screws on the platform. There was some, oh, they're no good. There was some Johnny rigging from Grandpa, maybe in the what 60s or 70s, right. probably. Light works. Found. Here we go.
that looks, he's out of control. Put the tin can on it. Let's hope that it starts in two years when we come to get it again. Oh gosh. Well, the real problem Ooh, that's is, hot. oh, look Woo. at the, the, what do they call that, the roto tilt, the roto, somebody tell me what that's called. The front axle actually uh, oscillates, something like that, the oscillating axle. We got to go combine now. Here's where we're keeping the tracks now for the other combine. You think that you could rip the steering wheel off that machine? No, that was built with iron. <laughs> that ain't happening. I don't care how big you are. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the shop truck, if we got the boom. No. I don't think it'd break it off. It might bend it. It would wreck it. We're going to move our def tank, diesel exhaust fluid, otherwise known as government juice, down by the diesel barrel because the 790 is burning a lot of it. And I don't like backing up to the shop here with the unload auger. Everything gets really close. And when we get into corn harvest with the big heads on, we're going to be too close to stuff. I just don't like it. So it's going to sit outside, which shouldn't be an issue because we're going to be burning so much. Dad doesn't want to do it, but I don't want to wreck anything. So we're going to put it outside. we go we'll splice that into our pump motor here with a connector deal so that I can fill def on and fuel on the 790 or the quads Well, we've been dispatched. Combine operators were told, fill trucks. So we're gonna go fill trucks. Eric's still spreading fertilizer. He should be done shortly and then we'll have the cart. You coming with? Come on! I thought you guys were gonna stand on the step all day. Let's get at her.
We're full. Come on, Eric, where you at? That's a lot of weight on the old girl. She's bowing. Oh, I see him. He's coming. One round and about a round and a quarter, and I'm full. On about a half mile. Are you lost? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan from Kibble. Out, out for the uh, afternoon ride. <laughs> well, let's try not to break something while you're here. Ryan's going to ride in the... <laughs> he's smiling. Riding the quad track. I don't know if he's allergic to red, but he's safe because the cart's green, so he's going to have fun. Calling it a night, about 9.30, sprinkling out. Did about 230 acres today. Isn't a huge day, but it's what we had. Couldn't get going that very early. The dew was super bad last night, so couldn't get going until about noon, 12.30 today. So it set us back a few hours. We try to always be out there about 10 to 11-ish. Is normally the time we can get going, but the dew was so bad that Got a little late jump on the day, which was fine. We had other stuff going on, so we were busy. So guys, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. We get to wake up tomorrow and repeat. Silence. Have a good one.